Good morning, church family, and I hope it's a beautiful day there today. Uh, we've had a few days of rain, but um, hopefully that turns around a little bit, but we need the rain also. So um, today I just want to read a short verse to you, um, two verses actually, and um, it's actually my favorite verse in the Bible. I have a lot of verses that's my favorite, but this one um, is one of my favorites, and it's in Zephaniah 3, chapter 3 verses, I'm going to read 16, part of 16, and verse 17. And it, says, and it says, Fear not, O Zion, let not your hands grow weak. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness, and he will quiet you with his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. And I just want to look at the verse, he will quiet you by his love. And there's nothing like being in the presence of God. And for me, I'm not, um, I'm not an exuberant worshiper, but those moments with God that I'm the closest is those still, small, quiet moments um, when God just quiets you with his love. And I often think about um, a few years ago, I was at a youth camp, and the Holy Spirit just showed up. And um, there was about 300 youth there, and the service was done, but the sense of the Holy Spirit was there, and it was just dead silent. And you got a bunch of teenagers who haven't ate yet, and no one wanted to leave. And I just often think about how God can quiet us by his love and just absorb um, his presence and absorb his love and just, like, sit in that. So I encourage you today, maybe find um, whatever way it works you feel closest to God if it's finding a quiet spot and just sitting and listening to the voice of God or whether it's turning your worship music on blast and worshiping Jesus. Um, just I encourage you to take, whether it's three minutes, five minutes, three hours, whatever um, time you have or you want to make today for God, do that. Um, so Zephaniah three seventeen. if you want to go re read it, um, and I just want to pray for you. God, I thank you for this day. Um, God, I thank you that um, we can gather together and worship you, God, in um, spirit and in truth, Jesus. And I'm thankful for your love, God, and in the moments that we need it, and in the moments that we think that we don't need it, God, you overwhelm us by your Holy Spirit and with your love. And God, we cannot fully explain or grasp how it feels when you're just um, pouring and pouring, God, and that cup is overflowing with your love, Jesus. But I'm so thankful that you give that to us freely, God. And we love you and we thank you for all that you are and all that you do, um, God. And we thank you for your provision upon our lives. God, and I just pray um, for anyone that's watching, God, if they just need to sense your presence, God, that you would just fill them to an extra overflowing today. God, that they will be... Um, quiet it by your love, God, and that, um, God, they will know that you're rejoicing over them with gladness, Father, and that you created them the exact way that you want them to be, God, and you mold them and made them, Jesus, just the way they are. So uh, be with each and every individual. God, I pray a blessing upon them, God, and that we would just um, be always aware of your Holy Spirit and your presence in our lives. In your name, amen. All right, I hope you have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow.